How are we doing today, guys? Thank you once again for joining me on Viper 9 Toy Videos. Today, I have the Star Wars comic packs of the Storm Commando and the General Weir from Star Wars X-Wing Rogue Leader, as you can see there. On the back of the box, it has a brief description of General Weir, the figures, and then some of the other figures that were coming out around that time frame as well. I don't ever remember seeing this set. I don't know if that's actually come out or not. Uh, these two sets I have seen, but this one, not one I've never seen any any results of. But let's go ahead and get this little guy. See if we could get him cut open to go ahead and take a look at the figures. So this one here. I, I did pick up locally at a at a at a little toy show that was going on from a, a local collector. I was I was vending at the show as well as him. So you know how that goes. Come home with a, a lot less money than what I was expecting. But I got a lot of really good stuff from him. So that's always exciting, right? You know what? That's actually just going to go ahead and pop right there. One thing I always did enjoy about these comic book series is where it did come with an issue of the comic book. You know, I never did do a lot of the Dark Horse comics or the Star Wars comics, so I don't know a lot of the lore. But these ones here where you can go ahead and read them and it gives a little bit of the background of the characters that are in the comic books. I really dig those. That way, you know, for a person that wasn't doing Star Wars as hard at the time, they are able to go back and learn a little bit about what they're getting into. This one here, I'm not going to lie, I did buy it because of the Storm Commando and this General Weir where he's in the unique Stormtrooper outfit, or the, the Scout Trooper outfit. Like I said, about the literally the only reason I bought this figure. I do like how he comes with double blasters. Only one holster, but he does come with double blasters, so that is kind of interesting. And then he does have the removable helmet. Go ahead and get that Storm Commando out of there. And then the Storm Commando as well does come with double blasters, but only one holster. Let's go ahead and get those pesky rubber bands off of there. Oh wow, when they packaged them... They package that hand over, like, the trigger guard. So if you can see that, it actually really, really smashed the trigger guard there. So that's kind of a bummer, because I guess he doesn't have... He has a trigger finger, but he doesn't have the, the other two fingers separated for the trigger guard like this one has. Like that hand there. So that one's probably going to go in his holster there, because... Why not? Then the articulation on these guys, I'm expecting no better or worse than the Legacy Stormtroopers, or uh, Scout Troopers. So they have fairly decent knee, ankle. The hips are just going to be the, the standard T-crotch. Nothing too fanciful there. Single joint neck. The, elbow, or the shoulders are going to have really good articulation because they have those exposed joints. So no restrictions from the pauldrons or anything like that. Then the elbow, yeah, elbows are going to be, whoa. And there you go. We'll just go ahead and drop him instead of being able to do, you know, the video. Because, you know. Okay, so now we got him picked back up. So he's got the forearm swivel. No wrist or anything like that. You know, no real good wrist articulation. So there is the Storm Commando. Get that blast the blaster does not want to fit in the holster very well at all so that's just going to want to fall right back out there and we'll go ahead and get that blaster actually back in that hand maybe there we go so i dig him I dig him quite a bit then we'll go ahead and take a look at general weir here so I do like that removable helmet i do like that red web gear even though it does fit a little wonky you could tell that you know, this figure wasn't exactly designed to wear web gear. And then I'm afraid... Oh, yep, they kind of did the same thing with this one. 
So after looking closely, it's not that they had put all of, yeah, they, they kind of did put all of the, the finger guard into the hands because of the way that the hand was trimmed. The fingers weren't designed to go two fingers inside the trigger guard, two fingers out. An awful lot like this one was. Huh. That's just a weird, weird decision in my book. Then the body construction is actually identical. Does he have a mid-chest? Oh, so he does have a mid-chest swivel. I did miss that. So mid-chest swivel. No waist or anything like that. But the body construction is the exact same. So it'll have still the single pivot neck. The decent shoulders because of that exposed joint. Okay, elbows, wrist swivels, knees are going to be meh. But, you know, once again, you're not having these guys do a lot of karate kicks or anything like that. And then the pretty decent ankle articulation. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the, the general wear. I think he'll look good. Is it general? Yeah, general wear. So I think they'll look good standing up on the shelf with the rest of my Shadow Squad. Uh, and then we'll, you know, go from there. Maybe try to figure out a diorama for him or something like that. But as always, guys, thank you for watching.